hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with an fgo movie this is the first movie of camelot now from the title you guys must have guessed like i am an fgo player and i've done a lot of these type of videos i've also kind of reacted to a trailer as well uh three or four days before and so here i am with the reaction to the movie and even though as i've said like i have played the game but it's been a while that I've completed Camelot, so the important bits and portions are still, I remember, I remember them, but most of the details I kind of forgot. So it will be kind of like also like refreshing my memories as well. And also obviously like seeing you know, the characters animation and like, you know, the fights animated, the voice acting and everything. It will be like a completely new like type of like, you know, new type of an experience. So yeah, like I watched Babylonia, but unfortunately I did not start YouTube during then, like, you know, when Babylonia kind of aired. So I was unable, unable to make any reaction of it, but I'm, I'm guessing like FGO will probably make more like movies and animes like this in the future as well. So I'm quite looking forward to all of them. Like I'm a huge Fate fan and a huge FGO like fan as well. So it's really nice to see these like, you know, movies getting animated, uh, these like story arcs, these like singularities, the Lost Bells, them getting animated and stuff. And it's really interesting. So yeah, this is the first movie of the Camelot series. I'm sure like we'll get the next movie. Um, I'm not sure when it's coming out. I think it probably is going to come out on May in the theaters. So I'm, I'm guessing it will take six or seven months for the digital versions to come out so when that comes out i'll also react to that for now let's start with the first movie in the like in the camelot series and without further ado let's get started and also if you're new to my channel i usually do timer reactions and obviously this is a movie so this is definitely be a timer reactions so you know like uh, be sure to play the video alongside my my reaction so all right without further ado let's get started with this movie so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, it's a 1 hour 30 minutes movie, so let's see. Oh, sandstorm. Yep. Well, Big Fear is here. Wow. Okay, this is... Is this the Garden of Avalon? I kind of forgot most of the things that happened here. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's Merlin. Wow. The end of my journey. Damn, look at the desert. It's like such a long distance to cover. Wandering in the desert like this alone. Wandering Agataram. <laughs> there she is. Okay. I think this is the first time we're seeing moderate animated. Like, you know, as an actual anime. 
like in an actual anime yeah oh boy this will be fun to meet all the round table knights you know oh that's Sansang, isn't it yeah wow oh my god so many servants are here like like now that I think about it, there are so many of them in this singularity. Like Hassan, Arash, Serenity, Ozymandias, Nitocris, the Round Table Knights, Sanzang, and obviously like our crew, Masha, Vinci, and I think this is the first time Vinci also comes with them. Isn't it? In the, f the first singularity that she accompanies them. <laughs> there you go. AD 120, 1, 2, Hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> but yeah wow yes oh no this here comes the yeah <laughs> oh boy there you go And damn. Flashed, what? Oh. Oh. Damn, Fujimaru. <laughs> Who is? Oh, yeah. The servant or a demi servant, so okay. Oh, damn, wrong. What? Mm. What's happening here? Oh, this this is uh Yeah. Wow, like looking at this again, like this place is huge. Like when I've played the game I never was able to imagine that it was such a huge, vast place. Like now that we are seeing it, like you know, in animated form. Oh, Arash, Arash is here. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, Kamangar, not Kamangir. Yes. <clears throat> Hmm. 
What is that? Some kind of Wow. People have given up. Oh. <laughs> Or of death. <clears throat> wow. Well, yeah. beginning land of Khan okay Richard one okay I kind of forgot these these portions okay these are the result all right Oh, okay, so that's what happened. I forgot this potion. In a single night. Oh, there you go. There she is. Great genius. <laughs> I love uh, like Da Vinci's voice actor. It's Maya Sakamoto. Yeah, they'll soon find out. Very soon. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. This part. Holy selection. Yeah. Because something happens. <laughs> well, actually, it has something to do with them, but it it's not that it has something to do with them, but it soon will be. <laughs> okay. Oh, who is this? Oh, Fujimaru. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, she... He rem okay, okay, okay. There's a big spoiler here, but okay. Like when I played the game, I was unable to understand what actually happened here. But after you know completing it, I think the revelation comes a lot later. Oh, this is the part where they're going to meet. Okay, okay. There you go. All right. I'm quite interested in this. All right. 
that's a problem. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, also another thing. I think Romani's voice actor is married to the voice actor of Vinci. Got the wrath of God. <clears throat> okay. Oh, damn. Also, oh, that's why it's. I kind of forgot about this. Like it's like all the place, like it's like a desert completely. And there are like ruins here and there. The holy selection. Maybe it's the opposite. Okay. Okay, Benny Bear is also here. Did they skip the prologue? Like, you know, where they kind of decide to like ray shift. They did not, they just showed us how like they're here already. I think they skipped that portion, didn't they? Where like Vinci decides to go with them or something. Oh my god, he's here. Sir Gawain. <laughs> Oh my god. God damn. Oh no. <laughs> damn. Well, there's the Lion King. Oh my god, there we go. Only two, those three. Oh no. Uh, only three, yes. Not, not the child. I think uh. Okay, yep Tristan is shooting isn't it who is shooting I kind of forgot this portion as well 
Oh no! <sighs> yeah, you have been chosen. God damn it. Ugh. Yes. What? <sighs> oh no. Oh god. Yeah, <laughs> so Gawain is... I'm sure FGO players can remember the suffering that we had to <laughs> go through to just defeat this guy. Oh, wait. Oh no, the sun! The sun is here! Oh god, <laughs> there we go. Yep. The defense that this guy has. Oh my god. Good. Oh my. Yep, you cannot defeat him. It's, this is bad. Oh. Mm, yeah. Oh god. Galatine. Oh. Whoa. Oh no. Okay. Uh, there you go. Yes. Yeah. Oh! Oh! 
There you go. Yup, that hand. Okay. Oh. Okay, the sun's rays are gone. Thank God. Yeah, oh no. There you go. Okay, Tristan is not here. I, I thought Tristan was here. What the? Whose knife is that? Who was that? Oh! Damn. Ha! <laughs> Ruthless. <laughs> well, I guess that's enough punishment for you. Yeah. Did, did did she just call? Yeah, I, I think okay. She's like she she's not bothered by it. Like Latoria. <laughs> okay, this should be interesting. Last lot coming into contact with Masha and Fujimaru. Fujimura, sorry. Wow, this. Yeah, okay. Well. That's Tristan, isn't it? Yeah, this is the whole thing in phase zero. I uh, didn't. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, like Vedifer was the only one who stayed like loyal to Arthur until the end. Wow. And it's ironic to see like now you know how he is in a position now that he has to fight the Lion King whereas he was like the mo one who was most loyal to him uh, to King Arthur before like the circumstances how it changes
Hmm. Ya. Yeah. Leading channel. Oh. Yeah, he saw all of this. Uh, okay, okay. What? Oh, no. What? Is it L L Lancelot? Or is it Mordred? I cannot remember. Yeah, it's Lancelot. Well, oh no! Well. Hmm. Family reunion. Oh. Yeah, he, yes. Oh yeah, this also happens. Well, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, that... God damn. Mm -hmm. You know what what's weird about the situation? People who know that Babylonia comes after this and who have seen Babylonia. The whole surprise factor is negated here because Babylonia has already been adapted and we have already seen Da Vinci there. Like in the game, as far as I can remember, this portion was quite tense as we kind of thought that we lost Da Vinci. But Babylonia comes after this, which has been adapted before this. So people who are getting into FGO for the first time, the surprise factor doesn't work there because they already witnessed Da Vinci in Babylonia. So like, you know, like they can put one plus one, one together and find, like, you know, realize that nothing will happen to Da Vinci. Like she's fine here. She'll probably come back later on. Like, it's weird in a way, <laughs> you know? Ugh. Like, 
Like, I remember in the game, I was really concerned here. But that won't happen, like, for people who are watching this now. <laughs> and off we are to the wow yeah this is difficult the whole like you know desert like crossing a desert like this yeah can't even imagine how that would feel like you know like wherever you look at sand and sand the hot sun the dry wind, no water, no food. Oh, damn. Okay, Nita Chris is here. <laughs> Look at <laughs> okay, that... is it really safe to fall? <laughs> okay. What is that? Is that a uh, like uh, it kind of looks like a uh, not a sphinx? It, what is that creature? Like, it, it looks like a weird combination of a uh, I don't know, like a sphinx and a uh, hmm.
<laughs> Look at that the smug face. Yeah, was a mundus. Fourteenth century BC, okay. Yeah, Ozymandias. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Damn. So many steps. I'm looking forward to the no voice acting. <laughs> oh, this guy. I have manifested here. <laughs> oh. He doesn't mean it like that. Ah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Mm. No, they'll lose instantly. Hmm. <laughs> Live one of my slaves. And she's here, Sansan. Well, thank God. <laughs> is is Stato here? Like, okay. Yes! <laughs> it would be amazing if Gilgamesh Castor was here, you know? I would have loved to see those two interact. Not uh, the Archer Gilgamesh, I'm talking about Castor Gilgamesh. But it would also be interesting to see Archer Gilgamesh interact with Ozymandias, you know? <laughs> okay. I also want. What is this thing? Oh. Some kind of bread, I'm guessing. Oh. 
or some kind of cookie some kind of cookie i think Mm. Yeah, just for the sake of it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they need allies. <laughs> the years. Hmm. Yeah, she doesn't know it's who it is still. That's why, like, she cannot unleash her full power. This can become cause. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Nothing will change. But it will be like yeah it's just they are accepting the status quo Okay. Well, however, I think this is the second time we meet Sansang in the game I'm talking about. There was this one event, as far as I can remember, where like, we already met Sansang, but officially we meet her in uh, Camelot.
<laughs> no place to go. <laughs> We're going to roam the desert now. <laughs> Yeah, the food is also it's a wait they they're coming oh yeah yeah they come yeah they also want yeah. What is that? Gemstone, what? Wait, I don't remember this portion. I forgot, I think. Oh! The map. Mountains in the northeast. Hmm. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Oh, so it was thrown by. Okay, okay, okay. Either Serenity or Hassan of the Hundred Personas. Either one of them threw the dagger. Or it might be Hassan himself, I'm not sure. Kind of forgot about this potion. Oh! Well, yeah, it was a great game. I cannot remember what actually happened in the singularity. I kind of forgot why King Arthur changed. So I played it in the game, but I forgot. Exactly why, right, yeah. Oh. 
Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, there you go, the Hassan. Okay. Is this thing? Yeah, the pendant must have. Oh. Oh, Arash is here. Okay, there you go. Arash Kamangir Kamangar <laughs> I'm an archer who uses a bow <laughs> Okay Hmm Hmm Hmm. Okay, so Hassan did not say throw the knife. Oh my god. Yeah, it, it must be serenities. I think so. Oh, it was Arash. Wait. Oh, yeah, it was Arash. I was thinking it was serenity. Okay, no. <laughs> oh. He gave the... Sh <laughs> Go to work. <laughs> hmm. What's with the voice? Yeah. It's not something to be idolized. Yeah. Yeah, if if you're not alive who will save? 
the lives you could have saved. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Fala Filipe. Prophesized by fate. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're just waiting for like you know them to take action. Oh, Israel. The grandest, grand assassin. Wow. Ah, we're going to meet Gramps. Oh. Oh, Serenity is there. Where's uh, Hassan of the Hundred Personas? She's also here, isn't she? As far as I can remember, yeah, she was also here. Like all the Hassans were here uh, in Camelot. Damn, it's quite dark. What's even happening? So dark, I cannot. Okay. Oh! Ha! Damn! Mood. Hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> Oh, Mordred is here. Oh my god. <laughs> well. Hmm. Okay. Oh, damn, she's strong. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, there she is. There it is. You should... Yeah, you should not touch her. But... Aggravance... I don't punish her. Oh, because of that. There you go. And here we have a problem. <laughs> okay, well. Nah, he's fine. He has poison immunity, so. It's fine. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Oh, it's my because. Oh, because bus because of. Oh yeah, because of that. I kind of mix things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she can, can't even touch anyone. Like, the person will die. Because of the whole... Oh, God. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Damn. Okay. Who is this? Is this that? No, it's Ag Agra. Okay. What what was his name? Agravain? Yeah, I think. Agravain, yeah. Ha! Huh. She knows him? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. She met them before. I forgot. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, yes. Oh. Yep. Soul splitting spell. Whoa. Oh, damn. Wow, this is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, oh no, he's using it again. Okay, she's unleashing her noble phantasm. Oh boy. Okay, Hassan is here. Oh. Okay, Benefier is here as well. Damn, his hand. Okay, well. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, Arash is uh, was in the village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still here. Oh yeah, I kind of remember what happens after this. Oh god. Ugh. Wow. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well...
Yeah, this is a big disadvantageous fight for Arash, I think. He's a long ranger fighter, so. Oh god! Oh. What? Oh, Tr Tristan is here. Oh my god. Ha! Great. Two of the round table knights. <sighs> Whoa. Oh no, she's, he's using it again. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, Mash is here. Mm, yeah. Wow. All right, there you go. Lord Caldias. Well, it won't work. Marsh's defense power is immense. So Wow. Oh no. Oh God. Yeah, okay. Damn. 
Oh no. What's happening? Oh, this is wait. Oh, no, God. Yeah, this is the wrong minute. Okay. okay, I was waiting for Oh no. Let's hear that. Oh. Wow, perfect voice acting. Wow. <laughs> That's it for Arash. <sighs> wow.
Wow. This is the song, isn't it? Uh, sung by Maya Sakamoto. Yeah. Okay, that was. Okay, there you go. Wow, okay, this is good. Like all this, this is sung by Maya Sakamoto, so. <sighs> all right, so this is the movie. Uh, this is the first part of the movie of Camelot and i have to say like um animation was okay like nothing like you know like so good that i have to like you know i would be surprised nothing like that but it was okay like okay for a movie so like i kind of wanted when i watched the trailer i was a little bit concerned about the animation but it, it's fine it's okay like like you know nothing much to talk about it it's just like okay that's just it uh but obviously like uh in my opinion a babylonian's animation was a lot better so but this was nothing like like this is not bad animation it was okay animation that's just it and another thing that i have to say about the um, visuals is the color scheme was a bit what can i say like less bright like babylonia was so colorful you know but like this movie seemed a little bit less brighter the colors were kind of faded i think i prefer babylonia's color scheme a lot better than this it's because you know like the color scheme where i uh, like you know the the way everyone was colored in i'm not a big fan of that style of coloring like it was like as i said a mild coloring a little bit of uh it has a what can i say um a less bright type of a feel but like you know i myself am a big fan of really bright coloring you know like uh just like what it, babylonia had so that's just my preference. I'm sure a lot of people would like this type of uh, like, you know, art style or visuals. It, it just differs like from people to people. I'm one of those people who prefers like, you know, a lot brighter color scheme. So that's just a small little thing that I have to say. Other than that, it was good. The uh, soundtrack was amazing. Animation was okay. And obviously the story is the story from the game so nothing much to mention like talk about it and um i'm not sure like i as i said i kind of forgot most of the uh important not important but most of the detailed bits detailed explanations of the game so i only remember the main portions for example where we meet the characters Okay, there's something else left. What is this? Is this pre some the preview? Yeah, this is a preview. Yeah, okay, there you go.
yeah this is a little teaser not teaser a preview okay 2021 spring all right that's the end so yeah as i was saying so like, the soundtrack was amazing um the uh, color scheme i am i have to say like i preferred prefer a lot a, a bit brighter color scheme you know and um this is my preference and uh, the story as i said was kind of uh, like obviously the same and i i kind of remembered most of the important parts of the story like when we made the met the new characters and you know when the important uh, the important things for example the whole uh, selection holy selection part i remembered then uh you know like arash's stella that i remembered um them meeting was a mondays and uh was this hassan you know and saving serenity those were like all the parts that i remembered and but the important like you know explanations and stuff i kind of forgot the whole uh, explanation of why this actually happened you know that like, where like the round table nights kind of fought you know and like Ozamandus took the holy grail that I saw I, I kind of forgot about it and uh, all the other bits and portions like you know important um information part I forgot but yeah and okay so about this movie uh it was a nice movie I have I like you know like uh, it was nice seeing all the ca characters like animated kind of like uh you know seeing them in animation and everything seeing them walk talk and fight uh, it was nice like uh like that's like the really like good things about like fgo like adapted you know um movies or animes whichever it is we like, get to see these characters in their full, full glory and oh boy i remember camelot while playing it <laughs> the whole fight with gawain which i think is going to happen later on like <laughs> Damn, Gawain was a very annoying enemy. Oh my god. <laughs> I remember like <laughs> like a lot of people used like Urail on him. Like they used to charm lock him using Urail. And that's how a lot of a lot of the people like you know used to fight uh, him. And uh, you I think Urail and Artemis because Artemis has the whole thing with uh, a bonus for um not artemis orion or what am i even, technically it's artemis you know so anyways uh like you know um how, where she had this whole thing with uh like dealing extra damage to male enemies so you know charm and she also has this charm locking property like you really can charm lock um gawain and artemis also kind of like you know they, they like they didn't even give uh like gawain a turn or uh like you know to attack and they used to charm lock him and attack him charm lock him and attack him and like something like that but i did not do something like that i, I as far as i can remember i had to spend i think one saint quartz to, <laughs> to defeat gawain I, I like i was so frustrated with him like i, I thought like oh my god like i cannot deal with this <laughs> so i i'll use one saint quartz to like you know defeat like i even like compete like you know used up all my command spells so I was forced to use the uh, Saint Quartz to stop him and his annoying defense skill. Oh my god, it like <laughs> Camelot is the first like you know difficulty spike in FGO as far as I can remember. So <laughs> that was something. Anyways, um yeah, like seeing all of these characters, you know, and one thing I have to say, I kind of thought about it is the whole thing with da vinci now here here's one thing like the thing with da vinci where this thing happened in the game obviously like camelot came before babylonia now when i was like you know new to the game i was playing the game i was playing camelot at a turn like you know th this portion came where da vinci kind of is implied that she sacrificed himself like in the game it, the implication was a lot more like we really thought that probably we're going to lose da vinci after this like it, it was a weird like you know thing and when she like you know like the way she says goodbye and everything kind of like heavily implied that oh my god we're going to like you know um lose da vinci this time so da vinci goes in 
and like you know there was this whole concern whether she's alive or not but there's this still still a little kind of a hope as she said that if i survive we'll meet again like you know that little hope and like you know there's this whole feeling of like are we going to get her back or are we not going to get her back while playing the game and obviously like uh spoiler here like later on we meet her again and that's the the, the relief we felt and everything i think especially this in this movie it completely destroyed the point of it you know why because babylonia came out before camelot now imagine like i'm sure all of the people who have not played the game and is watching the movie for the first time they are sure to have watched babylonia before this because babylonia came a lot like you know earlier than this the camelot movie that came out recently so they've watched babylonia and they must know that babylonia is a lot after camelot let's camelot comes first then comes babylonia now the people who have watched babylonia they have seen da vinci there so obviously the the whole thing of like is da vinci alive or is she dead this thing like there's no such like what can i say like it kind of defeats the whole point of it like everyone knows that da vinci is alive in babylonia so like you know the the thing that we felt in the game i'm sure a lot of people won't feel this thing because of the like babylonia coming out before this like it kind of really defeats the purpose of that scene in my opinion but you know like that's just a little portion of it otherwise like like that's why like it's really weird to see like you know um certain like if, if like anime is like it does not come out in chronological order which is, like you know especially in this type of a uh situation where a certain person there is a possibility of a certain person like implied possibility of a certain person dying but like you know because we have the sequel and we see that person all alive and well it kind of defeats the purpose of it so like because of, especially in these kind of situations that's i think the biggest what can i say mm like a little bit of a small little mess like you know that got created because of babylonia coming out before camelot now like this uh, this is only for the people who have researched on as to what comes before what like you know i'm sure there are a lot of people who you know watch babylonia and does not know that camelot comes before babylonia they won't have a problem because they will I'm, i'm sure they will kind of get concerned in this situation and think that like are we, are we going to meet da vinci or not like you know this whole thing and because they don't know that babylon comes after camelot like this whole situation won't present this problem won't present itself in front of them so they're all fine but th- those people who kind of know like you know who kind of researched on this that oh let me like you know there are few, a few people who will research on this they will like uh, like get to, like you know try to know which comes before which so like that really defeats the purpose of it and <laughs> like it's weird you know because the thing that that scene intended to make us feel kind of ruined because like babylon just came out before this <laughs> like <laughs> like a weird kind of a thing usually th- this type of things does not happen in fgo because in fgo like everything is kind of like you know a separate story all the singularities are a separate story but somehow like you know this scene and the scene in babylon is somehow connected because like we see da vinci getting into trouble here so anyways and um oh also another thing like i kind of mentioned it before as well like uh, i really like like you, you know da vinci's voice actor is she's maya sakamoto and uh, fun fact here i di- i did not know know this before uh, like you know when i started kara no kyokai like she also uh, voice acted shiki from kara no kyokai when i uh, you know um uh, watch kara no kyokai i got to know about this thing that maya sakamoto she is uh, as far as i can remember she is the voice actor of da vinci here and the voice actor of dr romani is her husband i don't know his name but he's also a voice actor so and another fun fact 
Um, Maya Sakamoto, as I said, like is the voice actor of Ryogi Shiki from Karno Kyokai series. And uh, I, I can't remember the guy's name. What was the guy's name? Uh, the glasses guy, who's the main character of that. Not main character, but the main f like male lead. Kokto, wasn't it? Yeah. Like Kokto, who is the future husband of Shiki, is also played by <laughs> the voice actor that is Maya Sakamoto's like husband. So Dr. Roman is voice actor and uh, like Kokuto's voice actor are the same and uh, Da Vinci's voice actor and Shiki's voice actor are the same. So like it's like a fun thing, you know, um, that and also a lot of other uh, characters like Maya Sakamoto has also voice acted. Uh, one of it is um, Ekidona from ReZero, um, Ruler or like Jan D'Arc from Fate Again, Fate Apocrypha, Fate Grand Order and a few others as well i don't know but these are like the major you know uh, voice acting that she did and she's also a great singer you know like she also like uh like she's uh, sung a lot of fate grand or grand order songs as well and this song this uh the camelot song that we heard is also sung by her so like she, she's like really multi-talented in a way and yeah and also okay so that's about that and other than that um nothing much to say uh we met ozymandias we met uh you know the uh, hassans all the hassans and I, one thing i kind of it's it kind of slipped my mind is the whole poison immunity thing like i was like i think it, it i really forgot about it like i thought like the poison immunity was uh you know trait of ritska that he has poison immunity but now that like they explained it here I can kind of remember them also saying this in the game where they explain that it is actually Marsh's shield that negates poison you know and provides poison immunity to Ritska I think so they also explained that here as well so that's why like when Serenity touched him nothing happened and you know that accidental kiss also nothing happened and the thing with sanity as she said like it, it's like uh like she cannot go close to anyone like whoever she touches you know and as she said her bodily fluids as well so i'm guessing her sweat as well you know if it touches someone or someone comes into contact with it they'll be poisoned so you know like it's like a really um she cannot go close to anyone and And we also saw the whole thing with uh, Arthur's past, you know, the whole, uh, I think it was called Battle of Camelan, the thing where like Arthur uh, impaled moderate. That was called the, the, yeah, I think it was called the Battle of Camelan, as far as I can remember. And uh, like, you know, we also saw how like Lancelot is also fighting and the whole thing with um, more, like, you know, Arthur impaling moderate and then getting like you know mortally wounded in that process and how Bedivere is like the final knight who stays loyal to king arthur and like like he was tasked with the duty of returning the excalibur to the lady of the lake where he kind of hesitated two or i think three times uh, to throw it to the lake but the final time she he went and he threw the the uh, Excalibur into the lake and returned it back to the lady of the lake. So that's why, like, you know, like it is said, like, he is like the final person who was with King Arthur, who saw King Arthur's, you know, uh, last moments. But as far as I know, like, I, like, it's not that King Arthur died, but I think, like, it was that she was sent to Avalon for like, you know for healing her wounds or something I cannot remember but something like that happened it was said that when the world like you know faces danger again King Arthur will come back and and also we also saw Merlin here for a little bit I think this is also the first time we see Merlin in the game you know like Merlin was there in Babylonia like we see him completely there but I think we get little bits and like pieces of Merlin in this um, you know in this singularity Camelot singularity so yeah 
what else? Oh, and also, I, I'm guessing we're also going to meet Gramps in the next mm, movie. No, the first Hassan, the grand assassin. Oh boy, that will be something. We meet him in this singularity, don't we? I, I cannot properly remember, but I think like, yeah, I think, or, or am I mistaking it? Uh, that's what I said, you know, like I kind of forgot many things about the singularity. I think we meet him here, do we? Or I, yeah, yeah, I think we meet him here. Yeah, I think so. And you know, we're probably in the next movie. I cannot properly remember how we, act we actually meet him, but I think we will. And that's another like, thing, you know, I'm excited for. <laughs> Meeting Gramps. Uh, and what else? And oh, and the main thing of this uh, movie, uh, Arash. Like Arash's sacrifice, you know, in the end. And yeah, that was like, you know, like as he said, like I kind of lectured you on the whole sacrificing you thing, but I myself am doing it now. And, like, and then like Arash gives his life to save all the others. And just like, you know, like just looking at it, we can kind of imagine how much power that noble phantasm has. Like giving your life for a noble phantasm. So it's definitely powerful. How it completely pierced Rongo Miniat. You know, like that's the amount of strength that the noble phantasm has. It completely annihilates things. So like it's huge. And, but, but you know, the, the main sacrifice, like, you know, is the servant only dies. Like, it's like a one time thing. So he cannot use his noble phantasm. If he has to use it, it must be in some kind of a life or death situation. Yeah. And about Ozamandis, the whole thing we saw where Nitocris, I cannot. I think we are also going to see Ozamandis in the next um, movie as well, yeah. And as I said, like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if, if there is something like this where Gilgamesh meets Ozamandis. That would be hilarious, you know? <laughs> like, Gilgamesh and Ozamandis. Wow. I don't think they've ever met, did they? Or I'm talking about the game. I don't think they've met. Like, you know, like in a, in a story, in one of the events or something, did they ever meet? I think in one of the events they met, but not in the like, you know, canonical stories. For example, these singularities in the Lost Wells. I, I don't think so, but <laughs> It would be hilarious, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm just curious how they're going to interact with each other. <laughs> like, Ozymandias will, be, will, will say like, I am the, you know, what, what did he say? I am the chosen one, I am the king. And Gilgamesh will say like, oh, you mongrel, <laughs> you zashu. <laughs> like, like, who gives you the permission to stand in front of my, uh, like, you know, <laughs> in front of me. Like, I am the <laughs> ultimate it will, be, it will be a hilarious com like conversation, like, you know? <laughs> or maybe, like, maybe I'm mistaken, you know? Maybe they'll be best friends, so, like, that can also happen. You know? Like, they might find each other's company quite pleasant, and they might say that, oh, like, <laughs> you know? Like, they might become best friends because they're so similar in personality. <laughs> Who knows? They might, like, you know, like, partake in some, like, wine. Like, you know, G Gilgamesh has his, like, uh, treasury he can <laughs> summon some wine and like you know take the holy grail pour some wine in it and offer it to Zemendis <laughs> anyways I'm kind of getting <laughs> distracted here but <laughs> you know that's a funny thing and what else and also, also another thing, I really forgot one thing here, and I still cannot remember. Why did this actually happen? This whole thing with, uh, like, you know, King Arthur kind of purifying um, humanity. 
the reason I completely forgot. So it's like you know when they were always saying like where um who was that? I think it was was it Gawain? No, um it was Tristan. Tristan was saying you know like like our king is doing this to save humanity, like. I think there was a, some kind of a big revelation later on in the game and I cannot remember it. I completely forgot what the actual like you know twist was or was there even a twist or something I cannot remember. So I'm in the dark here completely. So like, you know, I'm sure like if we get closer to that like that will probably be in, the, be in the next movie after the next movie comes out. So. If we like whatever like as we go closer to the climax of this like you know movie in the next movie I'm sure I remember stuff but like you know now like up until now I really cannot remember what the actual you know thing was about this singularity what was actually the problem with the singularity and why was King Arthur like doing something like this So yeah, like I'm completely in in the dark here. So I I probably won't check this out. I'll kind of keep myself in the dark and wait for the next movie because you know, like as I said, like memory is kind of what can I say? <laughs> A little bit you know, it forgets things quite easily. I, I like but once I remember things, I kind of remember it for a long time. For, for example, the names. I, 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 like, most of the times I have problems remembering names. But as we get to know the character more and more, the names never leave my mind. Like That is like the type of memory I have. So I've played Camelot once, so that's why I completely forgot most of the important part. Especially the actual reason why this like, singularity was here, you know? So, <laughs> you know, like it's weird that like I've played the game but at the same time, like when I'm watching this movie, I cannot remember what actually happened in it. Like it's like in, I'm in a weird position. I remember a few things. I remember I don't remember a few things. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. And and I think like uh, like seeing watching this movie will kind of um, make this memory concrete in my mem uh, like you know in my brain because when like as i can remember remember this like i played babylonia in the game and when i watched the anime i had no clue what was actually happening because i completely forgot what happened i only remembered the main characters there and then now that i have completed watching babylonia anime and it's been a long time i've watched babylonia you know I remember everything as clear as day because I most probably because I saw it in the form of an anime. So it's like you know like all these scenes are fresh in my mind and I'm sure it will be like that for a long time. So like you know like like anime is kind of like you know, like seeing the animations and everything kind of like you know reading the story and all like it kind of um what can I say lodges the memory into the brain and kind of like makes it permanent. So I'm sure like after I watch the second movie after it comes out like this memory will won't fade away you know I'll remember this excuse me same thing with Solomon you know like Solomon is coming out I've played Solomon I've completed Solomon you know in the game but funny thing I cannot remember what was actually happened there only the one thing that is like an extreme spoiler territory I won't say it here you know like that one thing I'm sure the people who have played the game knows what I'm talking about like that's one thing that I remember vividly other than that i remember nothing like weird thing <laughs> you know so like when i like obviously solomon is going to come out and i'm going to react to it when it comes out so when i'm going to react to it i'll be in the dark <laughs> like you know i'll be like oh what is happening here <laughs> even though i've played the game so that's something weird that happens with me but you know so yeah so yeah that was it that was the first movie as i said my impressions um the animation and the visuals are okay. Like, I won't say that this is amazing, you know, because that will be lying. So it's okay, in my opinion. Uh, the soundtrack is great. I love the soundtrack, you know. Mm, the songs are amazing. Uh, the story is okay, I guess. Like they explain most of the things, and it's like you know, it's kind of fine. <clears throat> but like, I, as like I think it kind of rushed a little bit because like this is like. Then like Camelot was quite long in the game 
so they kind of completed it into like you know compiled it compiled the half of it into a one and an hour and a 30 minutes movie so i'm sure they kind of skipped most parts oh one thing they completely skipped I, as far as i can remember is the thing where like you know Ritzka, da vinci all of them decide to go to the singularity where they kind of ray shift you know like that portion i think they kind of cut it off didn't they because where we like start this uh, movie we kind of see them already in the singularity like the thing that happened before like you know where they get ready to get into the singularity where they ray shift those things are not have like shown so i think they skipped that portion most probably because it was nothing much was like you know uh, explained there so i think that's why they kind of skipped it and i'm sure they skipped a few portions here and there as well but I can kind of understand why they did it because like it's like the one hour and 30 minutes movie but you know they could have like made this a two hour movie if they like you know had to skip portions you know like why one hour and 30 minutes i'm guessing because of budget i don't know i, I don't think it's because of budget or something because fate like fate has immense budget as far as i know because of all the gacha money you know and we kind of saw like that in um, like Babylonia. Like Babylonia was amazing. The adaptation was fantastic. Each and everything was so good. So why you know kind of why like this movie is like this? Then like they could have like you know made this a two-hour movie if they had to skip some portions. I don't know. So yeah. Mm. so yeah that was it that was this mm, what do you call it uh, this movie and this was uh camelot movie number one so yeah this was a good like like if this was babylonia i would have praised it you know extremely highly but after watching babylonia you know like this i think it's okay like it's nothing to be praised you know it's fine like like it's okay like it, like it's not bad neither is it like so good it's kind of in the neutral position for me at least so like as i said like i won't lie here because if i say like yeah this and i'm like movie was amazing or something i would be kind of lying it was good but not amazing that's what i want to say here babylonia was amazing you know heaven's feel was amazing but this is okay like that's my impression of this movie so but you know like as i said like the real joy is watching all your characters you know getting animated that's i think that's the real joy in these type of like movies uh like game adapted movies so like that joy was there definitely there when i watched like you know when i saw uh, ozamendes coming and then when i saw you know arash and da vinci and all of these characters you know walking talking and the night round of uh, the, the, the round table nights uh, king arthur all of them animated like those were amazing like the amount of joy i felt when i saw them you know like on screen was so good like that was there that was definitely there so yeah so and i think that this is the like you know the only thing that uh, fgo players will feel like people who have not played fgo won't probably get this feeling you know what i want to say so like this is like a feeling exclusive to the players <laughs> and i'm glad that i play fgo because of that so yeah thank you guys for watching this was fate grand order um camelot movie number one so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say um anything you want to discuss i'll definitely check them all out so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week oh wait a minute i forgot to say which movie i'm going to do next uh, okay so all right i i'll do another fate movie which is i the only fate movie that i have left i have not seen that is um prisma Ilya um, oath under the snow i think that was the name yeah i've not watched it i've watched prisma Ilya a long time back I completely forgot it and now recently I kind of rewatched it you know the the anime I'm talking about so the movie I've never watched it so I'm kind of like memory my memory is refreshed and everything 
so i think i can probably react to it next week so next week another fate movie reaction like it's like i'm doing fate movie one after the other uh, another fate movie reaction that is fate prisma uh, kalate prisma elia um oath under the snow yeah oath under the snow i react to that so if you guys are interested in that as well be sure to uh, you know like check that check out that out as well like next week i'll do it same time i'll i try to keep the times uh, you know time frame same so <clears throat> yeah so that's what i'm going to do next week so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another movie reaction that will also be a fake movie reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day